Hey, 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 everybody. So you're wondering how in the Select and Mask feature in Photoshop, how do you make the background red? This video was brought to you by one of my subscribers' questions. So I'm going to go ahead and answer that in this video. I'm going to show you how it's done in Photoshop. So this video is going to be relatively short. So let's go ahead and dive right on into my computer so I can show you how you can edit your clip art in the Select and Mask and make the background red. Okay guys, so now we're over in Photoshop. So what we're gonna do is open a new file. You guys already know if you've been watching my channel, I have a 1500 by 1500, 300 DPI template already created. If you need to know how to make this, go ahead and watch the clip art video. And I will have a link to that in the description below. And while you're at it, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So I got my template selected. We're going to open it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and grab some clip art that I created, some green sage roses. So we're going to go ahead and play with this. I'm going to drop it in here. Don't they just look beautiful? They will be available on the Design Diva as well. And I'm going to have a link to that in the description below too. So as you can see over here that little square piece of paper little symbol shows that it is a smart object so we want to rasterize this layer so we can edit it so i'm gonna come over here and select the ob object selection tool we're going to highlight this whole thing from edge to edge it's going to highlight our object we're going to go to the top and we're going to click select and mask now you can see the background is red but most of you might see something a little different okay i need you to take a look over to the left hand side you will see your panel at the top yours might be an onion view okay so if this is what yours looks like go and change this view mode at the top change it to overlay and that will give you the red and then you can change the color here in the opacity I like it a little lighter because sometimes I see some dark red lines and I know that's where some of my art is. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to select our refined edge brush. Make sure that middle brush is selected. And then you can come over here and take out the white around your clip art to make it clean. Okay, and let me deselect decontaminate colors, decontaminate, because that's why you see the flickering. So we're going to clean this up a bit. Clean this white off of there. Some areas may need to leave white there, guys, so don't take away too much white. Make your art look good. Okay, that's not clean in there, so we're gonna clean this up. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to de decontaminate colors and I am gonna mess with the opacity of that and then select okay. And now there goes my clip art and now I can export it and save it and it will be in 300 DPI. And I did go ahead and make a video about that so you can definitely watch that on my channel. I will link a description to that video below, okay? So I hope this was helpful, you guys, in helping you go ahead and turn the selected mask background to red so you can see the white that you're deleting from around your clip art, okay? Until the next video, bye.